Hey everyone, welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. It is Tuesday afternoon and I am on my way to do my grocery shopping in Brisbane that I do every month. So if you're interested in seeing all that every month I post it and this month I will post it as well. Now because I'm doing Vlogmas I'm going to try really hard to do some actual shopping vlogging. I'm not very good at it. I actually kind of suck at it because I don't like filming in public. Uh, I feel very awkward and uh, I forget. So like I rush around like a uh, chook of the head cut off and I forget that I'm supposed to be filming things. So it, it gets a little... Anyway, I'm going to give it a go again but I do say that every month. Uh, so I'm about two thirds of the way to Brisbane. I've got about an hour and 10 left to go and I stopped to get my normal treat, which is some Hungry Jacks and uh, stopped to go to the toilet just to give myself a bit of a break. I struggle with a bit of vertigo uh, when driving. So I have to take some vertigo meds and um, I like to stop, whether it's just to sit on the side of the road and eat my food or to get out and go to the toilet or whatever. I just, I like to have a bit of a stop. Uh, I did bring, I did make myself a cold brew in my cup and drink that from home to here but I haven't had any lunch yet and it's three o'clock so I like to stop at Hungry Jack's it's my treat on the way down I do it every time Hungry Jack's is a it's one of those things I really enjoy it it's really not that great but I really enjoy it so uh, at the moment I have the car loaded up I've got some empty crepes so that I can put some Christmas presents in those to be packed to bring home I've got the trailer on I got a couple of eskies in the trailer just to weigh it down a little bit to, so it's not so heavy uh, so it's not so light it doesn't bounce as much um, and a couple of things in the back of the tray as well. Uh, I'm going to, first stop is at my aunt and uncle's place and I'm gonna drop the trailer off so that I don't have to worry about it for the next two days while I go in and out of shopping centers and stuff. So I'm gonna drop the trailer off there. I've organized for the new freezer to be delivered tomorrow to there. So hopefully they'll send me a message tonight, let me know around about when it's gonna be delivered. I can go there and we can load it straight onto the trailer which will make life easier. Uh, and then it'll be there and I'll do all my click, all my pickups and the Aldi and Coles and all the rest of it and pick up all the Christmas presents and then Friday morning I'll go back to my aunt and uncle's place and we'll load everything else onto the trailer on the back of the ute before we hit fruit and veg, butcher, Costco. So that's the plans for the moment. So for this afternoon I'll um, show you when I drop off the trailer and then I'll head to mum's place for the evening and we will do pretty much nothing. I did do a garden tour video this morning so I need to finish editing that and get it up and uploading for tomorrow morning. Um, other than that we will eat. I've got two lots of grocery delivery happening tomorrow so I'll try and remember to tonight so I'll try and remember to film them as they're delivered as well and load them onto the car and all the cold stuff into mum's fridge and freezer until Friday. Uh, I don't buy any meat or anything but I do buy well it's Christmas so I bought some mascarpone and things like that because I want to make a tiramisu for myself and things like that um so that stuff will go in mum's fridge um i bought a few bits and pieces to cook for us for dinner too so that she doesn't buy because she likes to buy uber eats for us but i like to cook at least once or twice while i'm there just so that she's not spending as much money on food uh so we'll get that done i'll show you that and then tomorrow morning when i get started i'll check back in so i'll see you again this afternoon and then we'll see how we go good morning everyone it is wednesday it's about eight quarter past eight in the morning and I've just had a shower and left mum's uh the I did it again I forgot to film dropping the trailer off and I forgot about the groceries but the groceries were really delayed and it was like 9 30 by the time we got the last lot of groceries and then I had to ring them because they gave me the wrong freezer bag every time I click and order delivery order groceries I remember why I prefer to just to go in <laughs> so they're re-delivering the freezer stuff tomorrow today sorry this evening um, and the freezer is being delivered between 8 30 and 10 30 this morning so I'm heading to Anagay's now to go and wait for that to be delivered um, I'm meeting a friend for lunch who I haven't seen since last Christmas as a bit of a something to you know something special this this trip and then I'll probably do Aldi and Bunnings after that <laughs> we'll see uh, so I will remember to film as much as I can uh, because this is supposed to be yes and today is supposed to edit it up tonight and put it out tomorrow morning uh, and then do the Thursday Friday as a different one or whatever I end up doing so we'll figure it out as we go along but yes so I got the groceries now I am going to have to I stuck all the groceries straight in the tin as they're delivered so they do, I'm at the front of mum's unit and I just get them to deliver it straight into the back of the ute take all the cold stuff up and leave all the dry stuff here. But the thing is that you can no longer get your groceries delivered without bags. 
So everything's in paper bags, which means that though that tin's pretty much full, but it's not. Uh, and I won't fit Aldi and stuff in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to resort the entire tin, pull everything out of the paper bags and stack it appropriately. Otherwise, I'm never going to fit all the groceries in. Uh, so um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's it is what it is. Uh, so I will do that, though. And that gives me a chance to make sure that everything's there to... Um, because it was really hard, because it was so late by the time they were delivering and everything's in bags. I assume that all the groceries are there, but I haven't really checked. And if I don't check until I get home, then that causes issues. Uh, so yeah, I will do that um, and we'll see. But for the moment, I'm heading to Anagay's to get delivery of the freezer first up. Alrighty, that was painless, 8.50 it is, and the freezer has been delivered. Uh, now I'm not meeting that friend until at least probably 10.30, so I've got some time to kill. So I had a couple of orders for the drinking cups. Um, someone requested me to design a wombat, which was fun, so I put a wombat on some and some logos on some for someone else. So I've got to hit a post office and find out the postage cost for posting them. Uh, so I'm going to sort that out probably. I don't know if I'll do that right now because I was going to do that at Cannon Hill, which is where Bunnings and Aldi is. And that's the opposite direction to where I'm meeting my friend. So I don't know, I might drive towards the pub where I'm meeting my friend and then see if I there's somewhere to stop on the way there that I need to stop or I'll find a nice shady spot and I'll just do some work on my computer and whatever <laughs> needs doing. <laughs> uh, and then I will move on. So yes, trailer is the freezer is loaded on the trailer for the moment. It won't be the, the um, final spot for it because I have to pick up bikes and stuff. So they're going to be packed around it and stuff, but we've just got it centered, strapped and chained to the house for the moment. So that's cool. And uh, one less, one thing ticked off the list. Alrighty. So I haven't checked in yet. <laughs> uh, it is 3.30 and uh, I ended up at the pub by about 10 but my friend got waylaid for a couple of hours so I sat there with a coffee and did a whole bunch of typing that needed to be done while I was here anyway so that was nice I sat under cover at a table with a coffee and got all my typing done for a couple of hours and everything's done and caught up again now and then she came and we sat down for lunch and we spent two hours just yammering and that sort of thing and had a Christmas themed cocktail each and things like that. So after that, I headed to back to Cannon Hill. So I've just been to the post office to post off those uh, tumblers for the couple of orders. So I've figured out the cost of those and, and sorted that and posted them. Um, and now I'm heading to Bunnings, which is just a car park over. So I'm gonna head there and then I'll catch up with you again. Collapsible crates for the new chest freezer. These fit six of them in the freezer, so that's really good. So I got them from Bunnings. Also got a couple of extension leads, a new net for the trailer, and some extra clips for the current net, some decking screws, and some PVC pipe for Daryl to repair my kitchen sink. So grab those things Bunnings. Now one of the main reasons I was going to Bunnings was actually to uh, record their Jackery display. So I got contacted by a Jackery which are a company that does the um, the solar battery inverter units, um, power stations um, and they approached me to see if I would take on a unit to show off in the channel and just show off how I use it not uh, do a strict review but show off all the different ways that I could use one and I've been looking at these for a long time because they would be so handy for so many things but they were a little out of my price range so when they reached out I jumped at it I thought that's wonderful uh, so in the process of organizing that she mentioned that they're selling them in store at Bunnings now um, and it was supposed to start this week but it was supposed to they only arrived in store yesterday and the rep hasn't been out to do, set up the display yet so they didn't have them on display but I had said I'd come out and show them on display at the Bunnings and they're not there so I will next time show them off on display at the Bunnings but for the moment done what I can uh, the unit hasn't made it to me yet it's been shipped to me and when I get it I'm gonna show it off in a bunch of different ways because there's so many things that I could use a uh, little mobile power station for uh, water pumps and and all sorts of things so um, when I get it I will 
definitely show you a bunch of ways, but unfortunately it wasn't at the Bunnings just yet. And now it's 4.30 and I'm heading into Aldi. Uh, this is going to be the last stop of the day before I head home. So I'll show you the trolley and stuff when I get it out and see how we go. Alrighty, it is 5.30. It is very warm. <laughs> uh, 5.30, Aldi's done, packed away. Um, I'll probably drop into Woolworths or the Aldi in Carindale tomorrow to see if I get a bit more rice milk. There was 20 there, which is fine, but a little bit more would be good. Um, other than that, I'm heading back to mum's, so I'm not sure whether this video will end here or whether I will end the vlog or I'll do tomorrow and then end the vlog. I'll see how it, I'll upload it all to my computer and see what sort of length it was. But just in case I'm ending it here, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Uh, but otherwise, I will add to it. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Uh, so I basically didn't film anything yesterday. I'll try and find some clips that I took, but I really suck at filming when I'm out shopping and very much more so when there's someone with me and mum was with me. So that made it hard. Um, so we did all our shopping yesterday and it is Friday morning. We're about to head to the, well, I haven't had a shower yet. I'm about to have a shower and mum's in the shower at the moment. And then we're going to do the fruit and veg butcher. Costco and all that and I will try and get some footage but what I wanted to show you was that we did most of the Christmas shopping and I decided that I should wrap most of it to take it home because I thought that I can pack it up wrapped would be better so we spent the evening mum stuff there is for the kids but I wrapped let me turn this fan off because I think it might be affecting the sound um <clears throat> I wrapped all the bits and pieces for the kids we got a bag of stocking stuffers and then other stuff here of course there's a few bits and pieces that are at home as well but this is the majority of all the christmas presents for all the kids a lot of joint presents this year a lot of like these uh i think nearly all of the presents that are in the red paper are just labeled kids because i'm slack uh so they're all sort of joint gifts and then there's some significant individual gifts for each child that requested them uh so we've done that We've also got a half the groceries sitting up here, freezer full of groceries and the crates and stuff to sort out. Mum bought chocolates for gifts as well. Got helmets for the kids and bags. So we're in the process of getting all of this sorted and backed up. That's where I sleep, so. 8.45 a.m. and we're really lucky. <laughs> Mum lives on the first floor just there at that balcony. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass everything down to the car and get it loaded up from up here. Alrighty, 9.05. It is so hot and sticky out here. Uh, and we've got the car packed, but now we have to go and pick up the trailer. So we'll have to probably juggle then anyway. So we've got the bikes. So <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned, when we picked up these bikes, they were on lay-by. So last year, all the kids got bikes for Christmas. This year, we're not we just bought a couple more because the kids who use it most are Apollo and Sonnet and they grew, outgrew their bikes. So I grabbed two bikes in the larger sizes for, and the other ones will be hand me down, handed down and things like that. They're sort of Christmas, sort of not. With the bikes, we got them from Big W uh, Lay-By and I expected to drive around to the dock to grab them. Like these are large. These are, you know, 35 kilo boxes, say two people to carry. They pulled up, they just dragged them out of the lay-by center and said, you want to grab a trolley? Um, so I've got two of them and there was no trolleys. So eventually we resorted the trolley that we had uh, and then got them and had to load them ourselves. So anyway, uh, and then, so everything's loaded here, but we're loaded up to the eyeballs everywhere and we are picking the trailer up now. So we may end up rearranging. So the problem here becomes that with the freezer on, the eskies don't fit down the side because of the wheel hubs. So what I think I'm going to have to do is remove the bikes from the ute so that the esky can go on the ute and put the bikes either side um, to snug that freezer in. So going to have to shuffle things, I think, to be able to fit because, yeah, these eskies, because of the wheel hubs, they don't slide up the side. Um, this one fits in the back there because it's it's squatter so it fits behind the wheel hub um, and perhaps I need to get a second one of those um, to replace one of the other ones because then that'll fit nicely in that back wheel hub potentially at any point and potentially three 
wide, which would be kind of handy on that trailer. Um, so I might end up buying a couple more of these because we do need to replace this one. The, uh, the seal has gone really bad on it um, and it doesn't close properly anymore. So, you know, I have to think about it. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to get the bikes off the ute. All right, 11.41 and we hit um, Costco. We didn't film at the fruit and veg because uh, we got everything packed into mum's car. I was actually parked in my truck. He was having engine troubles. So he managed to move out of the way for me to get out, which is good. Uh, so this is all the stuff packed in mum's car. Now, because it's really hot and it looks like it might rain, what we've done is we've opened up the freezer on the back of the trailer. And we're gonna put all this fruit and veg in the freezer for the drive home. Hopefully, maybe, we'll see how we go. That's the plan. I do have the collapsible crates in the back too, that if I need to transfer some of this out of the cardboard boxes to fit it, because I'm just not sure if these uh, apple boxes and things like that are going to fit in the freezer. Well, is your brake on? I don't think the handbrake's on in the car because <laughs> I can move it with my legs. <laughs> Uh, just not handbrake on. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try and transfer that into the chest freezer before we go in and have some lunch and do Costco. So we filled this up as much as we can. Now we'll just scatter stuff elsewhere. 2.30, done. Now we have to pack the car. Mum got some treats. It's hot. Very hot. So we got the, doesn't matter. The trolleys sorted. Now we have to just, yeah, try and find spaces for everything. All right, so it is 3 p.m. and we are uh, finished packing up the car. Uh, Daryl's been on the phone to me. There's a fire, part of the fire zone, there's some flames and stuff. So he's called the fire department out to check that out. So I'm basically going to get home as quickly as I can because I've got the car. So I'm going to go and get some fuel and then head home and I'll keep you as updated as I go. 5.30, just made it home, awfully hot, sweaty. Disgusting. Uh, the fire was one of the trees that had fallen down in the burn zone. So Daryl got the fire department out here to foam it, but it's all good. So now we just have to unload. <laughs>